I know that there was the potential idea that Whole Horse could have joined up on the journey of part three, but his character puts a lot into question on how well he'd contribute to the team. While he is an ideal potential asset to the group, he's also Whole Horse, so how far that help goes depends on whose side is closer to his safety. Later in his character arc, we see how just being around Dio can put all of the fear in the world into Whole Horse. Off of that, and let's be honest, his entire being, he's going to stick with whatever has his best interest in mind because it doesn't really matter if it affects the team, it's more about what he gets out of it. So, with that in mind, say he joins the Crusaders after interacting with Dio. But before we do a word from our sponsors, if you're looking for a new mobile game, you can look into Raid Shadow Legends. With over 650 completely unique champions and console quality graphics, the possibilities are endless and it's completely free to play. But telling you about my new favorite faction, the Sylvan Watchers, this connection they have to nature is unlike any other faction in the game and some champions even have plants or mushrooms growing off of them, while other ones are literal trees. And they have a pretty cool and unique design that make them stand out from the other factions. Some of the legendary champions like King Galcobar and Green Warden Rourke are especially cool with their whole mythic forest look and new players can enjoy a special Valentine's Day themed adventure with the Raid Love Quest. Download Raid from the link below, copy your in-game player ID, and then head to raidlovequest.polarium.com. Enter your ID set on on the quest running from the 14th of February to March 14th. Play one of the Valentine's mini games for a chance to win fantastic in-game and real life prizes, including Valentine's champions and Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. And if you're an old rate player, you can use promo code STVALENTINE23 to get a Valentine's Day gift. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30, including free epic champion Shonaru and other useful stuff. So yeah, discover your favorite faction or champion along the way. Join the millions of players already enjoying Raid Shadow Legends by clicking the link in the description and playing today. Instead of joining up with Boingo, he cuts straight to the chase and tries to find Jotaro and the group. Now, he intends to tell them about every enemy stand user and what they're capable of, along with helping them defeat Dio, but you know, going off of the whole order of operations or something like that. The last time that we see Whole Horse and the group linking up is after the Darby fight. Uh, guess what? We're basically almost done with the part. So you may be thinking, well, who's the next stand user they're supposed to be fighting? Pet Shop. But that's with the idea that they needed the help to find Dio's mansion. With Whole Horse, they don't have that same problem anymore, so they can just all walk up to Dio's mansion because it's like, oh yeah, it's over here. And no businessman has to get hurt in the process, you know? But here's the issue. Pet Shop is still there playing Defender. Let me tell you what I'm thinking, all right? I think that fighting with Pet Shop right outside of the mansion should cause enough ruckus to where Dio is notified about what's going on and he try to relocate while this is happening. But I don't think they really get notified for stuff that happens anyways, and I think the mansion is actually just that big. But here's the actual issue. There's no immediate action for any of that to happen. Because see, in my head, Pet Shop's only options are to either fight them there and try to eliminate all of them, or report back to Dio, which would mean that if they try to storm the mansion, they'd have to encounter the other Darby and Vanilla Ice again. These two options have completely different outcomes, I promise you. But I think that Pet Shop would choose to fight them over notifying Dio. It's already shown itself to be a bit overzealous instead of you know, completely rational because it was chasing Iggy all the way down. Now it's possible that Dio wants Pet Shop to act like the guard animal completely and just, yeah, eliminate the problem outright anytime you see it. So I guess it doesn't matter because of regardless of the process behind it, the result is still the same. I'll do both scenarios anyways, uh, but let's go with the first one and see where that takes us. The Stardust Crusaders plus Whole Horse. Pet Shop should see that it's Whole Horse, but Whole Horse would be scared out of his mind seeing Pet Shop, so you know. So with acknowledging that Whole Horse's demeanor isn't exactly the same as when he comes around normally, uh, he probably does look at Pet Shop a little weird, but it's a lot more weirder now. And plus he's seeing a bunch of people with him, he's gonna be skeptical or on kill mode immediately. As a matter of fact, considering the fact that Pet Shop was able to discern that Avdol's informant 
was an informant, or at least someone who was trying to know more about Dio's mansion. I'm inclined to believe that Pet Shop knows Jotaro and the group by face right now. Dio probably got some pics of them through some sort of means, uh, maybe Jonathan stands. So with Pet Shop seeing them, it's on site regardless. With that in mind, Pet Shop's cooked. Let's be honest. It's not much of a talk, but more so just some connections. See, this at its basis level is power scaling. Cause look at this, Pet Shop and Iggy had faced off and Iggy won just with some scars to show for it. Now, 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 now you're adding Avdol who can melt Pet Shop's ice, Kakyoin and whole horse's range. Jotaro's speed and power and Joseph's, uh, Joseph's moral support. There you go. But he's gone, basically. Pet Shop would be gone in that instance. They should go on into the mansion and notice that Talon's T. Darby is right there. Now, the group was surprised by this initially, but Whole Horse knows Darby's game, literally. So I imagine that he'd summon his emperor, ah, uh, immediately after seeing him and have it pointed because he wouldn't want him to get any closer to pull him into the gaming room. Plus, he doesn't know the capabilities of this group and thinks that Darby can get it over them video game wise, possibly, right? Because he has more reason to believe that Darby's good at games and these guys maybe not so much. So they're going to stand outside of Darby's range and he wants somebody to overstep to single anyone out. That's how he got Jotaro, but I don't think that's happening here. Whole Horse, I feel, will shoot first and not ask questions at all. It's, why would he? <laughs> and everyone rushes Darby at once, probably? Yeah. Now, after this battle is Vanilla Ice, we are at a difficult point here because yes, while we have everyone in the group and a plus one even, and you know, th that plus one is Whole Horse and he has Whole Horse's intelligence or more so I guess the idea of Whole Horse's intelligence because the history of Vanilla Ice doesn't exactly tell us that Whole Horse and Ice know each other. We know about the nine glory gods to an extent, but eh, whatever. What exactly is going to happen here? Well, I think that there will be the find out deaths or death maybe, because even if Whole Horse was to tell them about Vanilla Ice beforehand, the setup is already in place most likely. So let's set the scene. Whole Horse tells everyone about Vanilla Ice and what he's capable of. Oh, he's so strong and he's just space and all that. Kakyoin thinks about it and he's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna start some throwing some webs around. Avdol is figuring out Kenny G's tenor sax and has his life detector out. Iggy is most likely in the front of the group, sniffing out the stuff. Kakyoin behind him, Polnareff and Joseph side by side, I've seen that before. And Avdol with Jotaro all the way in the back, side by side. After finding out about Kenny G, they're slowly like creeping around, just creeping around. And, and Jotro notices that Avdol has stopped walking because, you know, Jotro is extremely perceptive in general. And when he turns around, he's going to see Cream. In that instance, this is going to be almost exactly like the Pucci situation. Is he saving everyone behind him or is he saving Avdol? Avdol will not give Jotro this chance. The sheer look he has will show this. Jotaro screams, Ura! and he punches everyone out of the way. Cream just blasts forwards and at least, at least clips a huge part of Avdol. Let's say that it's the left side of his torso. Everyone who just got smacked out of the way is standing around trying to figure out what's going on. Jotaro gets Avdol up, he's holding him up and whole horse is blaring out to everyone. This is Vanilla Ice. Kakyoin is wondering why his webs didn't work, but saw that they were just blasted right through. Iggy is terrified. Whole Horse is terrified. Joseph and Polonareff are in complete shock seeing Avdol in this condition. And Jotro's mind is almost just shot from seeing this head happen. Uh, Vanilla Ice would have a small piece of dialogue telling everyone about how much they messed up coming here. And he's specifically targeting Whole Horse being here. Whole Horse tries to say that, you know, hey, hey, I was setting these Crusaders up, man. Vanilla Ice doesn't let him slide his way out of this one. I think Dio 
knows Whole Horse is really scummy and would have told Vanilla Ice about this, and, and, and even if he didn't, let's be honest here, I think all of the other minor antags that know Whole Horse would probably know this already. He doesn't really hide this. So now you have everyone. Avdol missing a piece, and Whole Horse, who just exposed himself for being a terrible group member, no one knows what to do. Any damage taken here is gonna be permanent. Like, Polonerf lost that part of his foot. What's the move? Honestly, I'm not sure. They're going to win, they're supposed to, especially if it was like, you know, Araki riding this, but as for the way, I don't know. I think something can happen uh, that, you know, it's more vanilla ice related. That'd be more focusing on Jotaro and Joseph in specific, right? Iggy can use the idea that Vanilla Ice has to go for Jotaro and make a sand clone without anyone else besides Jotaro knowing. So everyone else sees this sand clone just get completely taken out by Vanilla Ice, boom, and they're shocked to death. Vanilla Ice would come out of cream purely to gloat about how much Dio's gonna love this. He's like, oh my God, I'm just so raw. No one else does it like me. I'm a savage, you know? But Jotaro has been hiding somewhere maybe on the ceiling with the help of Iggy and comes down to just, you know, oh, 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 and just barrage Vanilla Ice. And after being hit by Jotaro, ooh, we're getting a combo thing. Kakyoin, and Polonerf, two-piece combo. Do, 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 do. Turns that dude into a pincushion. This amount of damage would most likely break up the place a bit, maybe let in some sunlight. But one thing that I'd love to see is Vanilla Ice at the foot of Whole Horse. Vanilla Ice tells him, if he helps him here, and lets him recover and helps him fight against the Crusaders, then he'll forgive Whole Horse's transgressions against Dio. Whole Horse, you know, looks to the group and he really considers it. He's like, ah, man. He points his emperor at the group and looks directly at Polonerf of all people. Just wait for it. Could have been Jotaro, but he, pick, he picks, you know, Big Pole instead. He asks him something like, yo, so you really think that your sword is mightier than my gun? And everyone else is almost disgusted, but Polonerf, Polonerf knows what's going on here. He's like, yeah, 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 I think it is. How about we test that? They get into position, it's a standoff, it's all quiet. And then, Hora, 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 just breaks up, but Polonerf is cutting up the wall. Whole horse fires into the same spots, bow, bow, bow. The light, it burns. Vanilla Ice is screaming and just, you know, like sounding like Cho'Gath. He's dead. He's dead, but Avdol, for sure by now, has completely bled out. This is terrible. After this, it's about the remaining group versus Dio. Whole Horse doesn't know that Dio can stop time though, and I think a couple of familiar faces we have still do die anyways. Whole Horse is for sure targeted and killed like immediately uh, as Dio saw this as one of like the biggest possible transgressions like, against him. He, he's gonna get it done regardless. I don't know if it's immediately, but it's gonna happen. Kakyoin most likely still dies here too. Though I will say it would be cool to see Whole Horse reflecting on his life, see all of the things that he did to just, you know, stay alive throughout life. But in the end, just considering that he served a larger purpose finally and helped significantly and just stopped this evil, or at least he thinks that they're gonna stop it. But I also think that he'd hear himself thinking these things and he's gonna quietly be like, nah, this was <laughs> this was kind of stupid. I should have sold them out. I would have I would have still been alive. And he'll laugh to himself because he doesn't actually believe that. He's saying it for us, he's putting on. But he does think, well, at least, you know, maybe I would have still been alive. And he's like, ah, damn. And then he dies. The story ends. Dio is beaten, and Iggy lived for some reason. I, I think like Iggy doesn't necessarily have to die, but you know it's very possible like Dio could one shot if he wanted to. But you know now thinking about this is over. We still did have that scenario from earlier. You know what if Pet Shop went on to go warn Dio instead of fighting them directly? Well, since Talon T Darby and Vanilla Ice are going to hold up the Crusaders a bit, like they actually have to try hard about doing that rather than just all like, oh, let's let's do it our way and stuff like that. Like Dio told us we have to stall, so we're gonna stall. Uh, that's gonna happen and Dio would most likely find his way out. Because when given different orders, instead of just like focusing on elimination alone, 
Vanilla Ice is gonna put in the work to just try to stall him out as long as possible. And then also kill him. Like, it's like, oh, let's just circle camp this guy. But now, while I do think that they'll enjoy taking out the members, like, the main focus is to stall, but once they do get into Vanilla Ice's head, like, they'll, they'll kill him. I do think, though, that, you know, Dio is long gone by now, but the issue is where and what are they supposed to do? The move for Dio might just be to wait for the night and then to pick off every member, but I do think that he has enough pull in this city or the world to just string everyone along for a good bit longer. And that's terrifying because this situation would mean that Holly might actually die because she didn't have that much time left and they needed to beat Dio soon. So if he's gone, then she might be too. And you know, I don't know if that clicked for you or not, but you know, if Holly's gone, then what does that say about what's happening to Josuke, who's in a similar position, you know? Because if Holly's gone and Josuke's gone, what are we supposed to do? There's a lot of stuff that we have to work with here, just off of Pet Shop's potential singular decision. And I think that does call for another video because hey, we're already like this far in. So yeah, that might just be the move. Give a whole horse join the Stardust Crusaders part two or just alternate two or something like that. We'll figure that out later. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you liked scenario one. Scenario two could be on the way ASAP. It just depends on the reception, but you know what it is. Uh, thank you all for watching again. Peace out. Godspeed.